So, I decided to try something different and not sure how it's going to work. I had a metric crap ton of Duke coins, which at this point I'm probably going to start putting in the forge for brass because I'm I can get lead and get scrap iron brass is an issue um, <clears throat> if you didn't know you can scrap or sorry smelt I guess um, two coins into brass so if you are towards end game style and you got nothing else to spend them on because you have everything you need uh, there is that for you to to know but um yeah i decided to try something really different so as you can see i've got my ammo and everything it's 2100 on horde night and i wanted to see how this might work now i've done something similar with my buddies where they would stand up there and fight and I would come down here and melee um, now it was honestly we were bored and wanted to see what else we could come up with um, I am putting those down to make sure that when the blade traps are spinning I don't get hit um, they do have a 3x3 three three hitbox, so I think that should keep me covered. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend Horde Knight down here. Um, I'll shoot at him as I need to, but hopefully the blade traps do most of the work. If, for some reason, and, and the doors were there specifically just so that once the loot is down there I can go in and pick it up um, this is very crudely done um, it was all hodgepodge together today I just wanted to see if it was an actual viable strat and if it would work and I feel like this might give me a, a little something more to do than to just stand up here and shoot um, and that the only something to do is really to repair everything but um, yeah um, you know if for any reason they're breaking out I clearly have an easy way to come up and can fight them just like normal um, check the gas yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, shut me up so that you can see this and once we're done I'll go through and show a little bit more so if you want to skip past the fight go to the end of that. Thank you. 
So, overall, not completely horrible. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though they take as much damage for falling on the blade traps as they do if they run into them. So, maybe having them just on the walls rather than on the ground might help. Um, maybe. <laughs> um, overall, it didn't seem horrible, though. Um, what do you guys think, though? I mean... Is there something else that I could have done to make it better? I mean, overall, it seemed like it worked out pretty well. I mean, I lost one one block, um, two, three, four, five, six blade traps are completely gone. Um, I think this one was still running, actually. Um, so, I mean, overall, it wasn't horrible. Um, I didn't go through as much ammo as I usually do. Eh, not a whole lot of fuel. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I didn't, I didn't go through a ton of ammo, which is always a good thing. Um, and that's usually what I, what I hope to do is, you know, have more ammo left over than <clears throat> than I use. Um, but yeah, so I did not expect two vault doors to go down as quickly as they did. Um, I've never really fought a horde where they're bashing against the doors like that. Um, <clears throat> usually I will have an area that I jump up and then I'll fight, you know, as you saw on the, the base up there, I, I fight from inside there and then I can fix these blocks as they go down. So I'll usually have, you know, concrete and steel on me. Um, so I might do that. I might, I might just completely steel wall that off. The loot that's going to fall in there, um, I think I can get, I think once it gets towards, I don't know, one or two o'clock in the morning, I can basically just jump out like I did when I saw that first door go down um, and then fight from up here the rest of the night and then the where they knock out um, during the horde, the horde night um, will allow me to get down there and, and loot that. Um, I did move around a lot more, so I kind of want to see, um, you know, usually I stay right near that middle area, so I kind of want to see if they dug anywhere. The SMG turrets are still working. That's good. I don't think I've filled them in like three horde nights. <laughs> so I should probably look at that. Um, I'm jumping around like an idiot because I want to see... It doesn't look like they dug anything up. And actually I didn't lose any of the steel up here. So... You know... Oh, I lost one. Um, I'll have to look at the the cost of the blade traps. Um, just kind of do a cost analysis and figure out um, the steel that I'll use to fix everything versus the resources to. Um, 
you know, run the the blade traps um, and just kind of see where the cost is. You know, is it is it going to be better to have the blade traps down there and fight them down there for a bit and then jump up like I did tonight, you know, instead of having the blade traps on the ground and I'll dismantle those and just have, you know, the, the six on the outside, if that would be better or because I, they knocked one, two, three, three blocks are gone that I'd have to fix. Um, I'm really surprised those took no damage. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I lost three blocks, uh, four, if you include the 50 pillar that was there, five. So, if I put another block there and a 50 pillar there, seven blocks are, are completely gone. Um, everything else is fixed with steel. I, you know it might work um so yeah well, let me know what you guys thought of the the horde night let me know what you thought of this idea um this was kind of something different that we did on our other server and i think i built it here uh where we would stand so it was a little bit different and i also think i don't think that we had the full cage around um, so those guys were like throwing Molotov cocktails down here and stuff, uh, for Horde Night, which they enjoyed. Um, let me know what you guys think. I mean, is this, is this viable? Is this, how do you guys feel about it? I mean, I'm really kind of sad that I have to rebuild electrical wires every single Horde Night, because... That one's still there. I think all four on this side are gone. Um, so yeah, out of the, what, four, eight, 16, I've got two, three, yeah, this side's good. Six, seven, eight. So, Half of them are completely gone. Um, those are pretty easy to fix, though. So, um, But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if you have any ways to improve this. Or if you just hate this design because it's cheese and everything else. I mean, I kind of like having this wall down there because they seem to leave the outer wall alone and go after this one which makes it really easy when they bunch up I can literally just stand here unload with an M60 and and go through um, if they do that again I will probably switch to the auto shotgun because I don't use the shotgun at all and I've got a ton of ammo um, so I might switch to the auto shotgun next time. So, um, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, let me know, and we'll end it today.